Hi and welcome to a video series on decimals. This is video one. We're looking at place values in decimals and ordering decimals. Let's have a look at place values in decimals. We have a decimal here, 7.239, and we're just going to have a look at the place values of the different columns in this uh, this number. So that first digit after the decimal point, that's in the tenths column, tenths column. And so a 2 in the tenths column would be the equivalent of 2 over 10 as a fraction. The second column in the decimal is the hundredths column. So a 3 sitting in the hundredths column would be the equivalent of 3 over 100. And the third column across, that's the thousandths column. So a 9 sitting in the thousandths column would be the equivalent of 9 over a thousand. So each of those digits have different place values depending on where they are in the decimal. So we can think of that number 7.239 as being made up of seven units at the front, then after the decimal point we have two tenths, three hundredths, nine thousandths, and all of those values go together to make up the number 7.239. Two, three, nine. So a decimal is made up of different parts there, depending on the place values and depending on what numbers are in which columns. When we are asked to put decimals in a certain order, what is very helpful for us is to add zeros to the end of the shorter decimals so that each decimal has the same number of digits, then it's easier to compare. Let's have a look at an example. We're asked to put um, 0.7 0.34, 0.513 in order, going from smallest to largest. So first of all, we're going to put 0.7 down, 0.34, 0.513, all in, in a row there, in, in a column. And uh, you can see that the, the bottom number, 0.513, has what we'd call three digits after the decimal point. We'd say it has three decimal places. So what we're going to do is we're going to add zeros to the end of that 0.7. We're going to add a couple of zeros so that it has three digits after the decimal point as well. We're doing that so it's easier to compare the digits. We're also going to put a zero uh, just after the 0.34. So each of those numbers now has three digits after the decimal point. We're allowed to put those extra zeros at the end of any decimal. Now what we can do now is to kind of ignore the zero and the decimal point in each of them and just compare the sizes of those three digits that are after the decimal point. So you can see that if we're just comparing those we have what we have is 700, we have 340 and we have 513. So that allows us to see which one's the smallest middle and middle size and the largest. So the smallest one there I think you can see is 340. The largest is 700 and the middle sized one is 513. So from smallest to largest we put 0.34, we decided that was the smallest there. Now notice we're putting the original version of 0.34 without the zero that we put in uh, because that's important as well. So the next one, the next largest after, after the smallest there is 0.513, that's the middle one, and 0.7 and once again we've put in the original one. So we've put them in order, and it's really important to always give the original versions for your final answer in these sorts of questions. Sure, we added in the zeros to help us uh, compare the sizes, but then let's uh, report the, final, the original versions for our final answer. Okay, let's, to, let's recapping. When we're ordering decimals, we'll add zeros to the end of the shorter decimals, so each decimal has the same number of digits so that we can put them in order in a sensible way. And we must remember, always give the original versions for our final answer. Hope that helps. See you next time.